I don't read, it means I won't brush my teeth. And I wouldn't want to wake up a day without brushing my teeth. Hi, if you are seeing this face for the first time, my name is Sambia and over here on this channel, we talk all things related to personal development and mental health related issues. If it resonates with you, make sure to smash the subscribe button and be part of the fam. A habit is a routine that is performed regularly. In this video, I'll be sharing with you three things. That is the importance of getting better 1% every day. And secondly, the process of habit formation. And last of all, the laws of habit formation. They are interlinked, so make sure to watch the very end of the video. When someone achieves massive success, we mostly attribute it to a massive action that the person performed. And we also try putting pressure on ourselves to perform some earth-shattering actions in order to achieve massive success. In Atomic Habits by James Clare, there is something he refers to as getting better 1% every day. By the way, this whole video will be referenced to Atomic Habits by James Clare. So in Atomic Habits by James Clare, there is something he calls getting better 1% every day. When you make up your mind to get 1% better every day, be it in business, in sports or whatever, Ever goal you set for yourself the thing is that you will not achieve success or massive success within a short time the results within a short time will not be noticeable people won't see anything in you to show that you are really making some progress and that is what makes most of us lag back on our bad habits anytime we try new habits and within a short time it feels like it's not working out for us you want to see results within two months within three months because we mostly attribute our new habits to our goals and that is why we are looking forward to getting some big or massive results but let's look at it this way when you are forming a new habit it's just like uh, it's like money multiplied by compound interest the same way the effects of your new habits multiply as you repeat them you don't start saving today and just expect to be a millionaire today when you look at a rock cracker hammering rocks at the initial stage you think that there's no hope for him because he keeps on hitting the rock keeps on hitting the rock and there's nothing showing in the rock maybe the hundredth hit nothing shows the 200th hit nothing shows and the 201st the rock breaks into pieces it's not that hit which is making the rock break into pieces it's that accumulated 200 hits which made the rock to break into pieces and the same thing happens to our habits when you are forming new habits the results won't show initially but then remember that it's compounding and there's a threshold that you reached in your new habit and you attain that massive success so it's usually better to attach your new habit to your identity as a person rather than the goals you set for yourself so what happens is that um, when you are forming a new habit and you keep on improving 1% every day, by the end of the year, you'll be 37% better from when you started, okay? So it's like you are starting from 1%, but as you, as, you, as you keep on repeating, the effects of your new habits keeps on multiplying. And by the end of the year, you are 37% better than when you started. And the same thing happens to bad habits. When you keep on lagging onto your bad habits, you keep on going back to it. You keep on doing that. By the end of a year, you'll be zero zero. 0.03 percent worse than when you started and the way bad habits are they are very comfortable you think oh it's just one chocolate it's just this time this time let me just take this junk food this time let me just sleep this time let me not say anything let me time let me sleep over it and all oh, keeps on compounding just like good habits moving on to the next part of this video that is the process of habit formation the process of habit formation is the backbone of any new habit that you want to form okay it goes through all new habits go through that process and in atomic habits by james claire he refers to it as the habit loop and it's made up of four processes first of all is the cue the cue is what triggers you to perform your new habits and it's mostly like in visual form you see it and you want to do it then the cravings comes in the form of the, the thought of the pleasure you receive after performing your habits you move to the third one which is response a response is usually your answer or reaction to your cue and your cravings and it mostly comes in the form of thought or action like physical action okay and then we move to the last one which is reward reward is the actual pleasure that you so get so when you look at reward and cravings they are somehow similar but they are not cravings is the thought of the pleasure and reward is the actual pleasure okay so that's the differences um before i move to the laws of habit formation if you've enjoyed this video so far make sure to smash the subscribe button and like it okay so the last and most important one is the laws of habit formation and the laws make sure that whatever new habit you are trying to form is attractive to you in all the four processes so it's in alignment with the four processes 
with a process of um, habit formation. The first law of habit formation is to make it obvious, which goes in line with the cue. As I already said, the cue has to do with visuals. So you have, you have to make your new habit obvious. So whenever I'm going to school, I make sure to pack all my books inside a bag and put it somewhere safe. And when I come home from school, I offload the books from the bag and pack it where I sleep. So that anytime at all I see the books, I know I have to read. But if the books are not there, like it's usually very hard for me to read because I'm not seeing the books. I have to go and search for it. And the friction of me going there too is hard work for me. So mostly I just relax. But if the books are there, I know I have to, I have to read. So when I just wake up, I take a book and I read there's nothing there's nothing there's no hard work there okay so that is what I do so you have to make the new habits you are forming obvious for you even in taking drugs when you hide your drug in your drawer it's hard for you to take it every day but then if it's just if it's just on the table where, where you can see it all the time you you just mm -hmm, you just take the drugs okay so you have to make the cues of your new habit obvious for you and the second law of habit formation is to make it attractive which goes in line with your cravings okay so you are forming a new habit it's supposed to be hard like if you are forming something if if you are getting out of your comfort zone and you're trying to do something new like it's new to you so initially it's supposed to be hard so what you can do to ease that hardness is to make it attractive combine whatever new habit you are trying to form with something that you love doing something that you so much enjoy okay you want to um start cleaning your room at 10 a.m every morning okay and you like listening to music so at 10 a.m you put on your music and you clean your room to make it more attractive for you okay so combine your new combine your new habits with things that you enjoy doing okay so the third law of habit formation is to make it easy say you want to form a new habit of reading 30 pages every day you are starting out you can't just start out and start reading 30 pages every day it will be a lot of hard work on yourself you have to read and read and read and until your eyes are paining you and that is not what you want if you do that the next day you will repeat it okay so then you have to make it easy at the initial stage um read two pages every day read two pages every day the intention is not to read two pages for the rest of your life the intention is to show up for the new habit that you are performing when when you show up for your new habit and you are able to standardize your new habit in your life it's now part of you you can now optimize when it's part of you you can keep adding the pages and adding and adding till you reach your 30 page threshold every day okay so then initially make it easy so that when you are reading two pages it doesn't seem like work to you just take and you read all a page so that when it, it becomes a part of you you can now add whatever pages you want to add and the fourth law of habit formation which goes in line with the reward is to make it satisfying okay okay so our brains are wired in such a way that it's eager to repeat things that bring pleasure to the person okay so if you are doing something that doesn't bring in like if you start doing something the first day and it doesn't bring pleasure to you anytime you're about to do it there's a trigger in your brain like don't do it it will not bring you that pleasure that we are seeking so you have to make it satisfying even though we know in the long run you gain something from your new habit but after showing up for every new habit make sure that you reward yourself okay so um initially when i started reading i made sure that after reading before i brush my teeth so brushing my teeth was reward for reading if i don't read it means i won't brush my teeth and i wouldn't want to wake up a day without brushing my teeth so obviously i'll read in order to brush my teeth so you can put in a system that works well for you to be able to stuck with your new habit okay okay so i just want to put the processes in um, in the form of an example so that you see how it works okay so a, a, a depressed person goes into the market and sees a hard drug which has the inscription for relief of all forms of pain plus depression okay so he sees it he wants to relieve himself of the state of depression that's the cravings so he takes the drug that's the response the action that he has taken and after taking the drug he sees that he's, he's free of the um, the depressed state that he was in and he's more calm okay so the next time he sees that drug he already knows that if he takes this drug it will calm him down so it will start from him seeing it and having the thought that if he takes it it will calm him down which is the cravings he moves the response taking it and actually getting the reward that he was already craving in the first place so that's how new habits to are formed okay it continues and continues that is why um when some, when you are trying to help someone with drug addiction they take the person to a rehab center the person is not seeing the drug to be triggered to respond to 
whatever cravings he has so they put the person in there but immediately the person comes out and see the drug again the person continues with their habits so that's how habits are formed okay so this brings me to the end of today's video i hope you got something out of this video i know it was a lot but i tried my best to simplify it for your benefit make sure to smash the subscribe button like and share okay see you on my next video Bye bye